How's it going, Twitch? My name is Skull, and on behalf of East Asia Soft, welcome to today's stream. Today, I am giving you guys a look at Arsonist Heaven, which I know nothing about, <laughs> which is the usual whenever I stream for EAS. Uh, they always give me games, and I learn nothing about it intentionally, just so that I go in completely blind. I'm waiting for the Twitter page to update. Okay. Uh, out now on Nintendo Switch, PlayStation, and Xbox consoles. This is a survival action platformer. Ooh, that sounds exciting. All right. As usual, I'm playing on PS5. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Like, EAS always gives me the, um, the, the codes, and they're almost always for PlayStation, so it just happens to be a... Um, PS5, that's just where I end up playing most of my games. You can see some of the other ones I played here. We got Raylan, which was a really fun puzzle game. We got Ao the Clown, which I still haven't beaten. Space Wing War, which is a fantastic tribute to Game Boy games of, of yesteryear. Got Wife Quest, a super, super fun game. But we're here to play Arsonist Heaven. Let's go ahead and hop into it and see what awesome adventures await us. I am so sorry. <clears throat> Omega Gore. <laughs> Ooh. I love love the uh, art style. And I think I can go ahead and bump the volume up just a little bit here. Give me a second. Here we go. Ooh, that's nice. Music's cool. Let's go ahead and take a look at the options, as always. Engli uh, language can be English, Spanish, that's Japanese, and I think, is that Russian? Is that Russian, maybe? Anyway, back to the menu, which is over there, <laughs> behind the webcam. Let's just go ahead and get into it. Landing zone, ooh, wow. Scorched Earth, nuclear fallout zone. Okay, so it's definitely Russian. <laughs> And the epicenter, or the epicenter, the epicenter. Wow, that's a real word that I used to know and had to relearn just now. I am embarrassed by that. Here we go. You are the purifier, the employee of the Shazbot Association of Thermodynamical Armory Research. Holy. You were paid to liquidate the aftermath of terrifying accident happened on one of the company's secret research facilities. Employers said you have to be aware of mutated creatures, dangerous environment, and something much more hazardous in the end of your mission. Anyway, it's time to get your jetpack and weapons ready. Money is not going to earn itself. Okay, we can move with the D-pad, we can shoot with the X button, wow. And we reload with the square button. Can we jump? We well, oh, we can jump with the circle. Okay. Oh boy. Well, we're dead. That's it. Stream's over. Good night, everybody. Okay, let's try that again. Oh, I needed that. Okay. Where'd you come from? Uh, is it supposed to hit me that easily? Like, it's almost unavoidable. This thing hits me too. Let's try that again. Oh, jeez. I mean, I can kill it, but oh man.
Oh god, okay. Have to pay attention to my flamethrower. Okay, these are platforms, good. That looks like health over there. I want that health. And my jetpack's almost dead. Oh, but it automatically recharges itself. That's good. At least we got something here that does. Fuel tanks restore ammo. Med packs restore health. Yep, figured that out. Down to fall. Oh, I guess if we're on these platforms. Yeah. Okay. So there's one more bad guy somewhere. Wow. Um, here, let me... <laughs> that guy got caked. Poor guy. So I guess we go back this way. Try and find that last bad guy that we got a torch. Oh, it's up there. Okay. I don't know if it's necessary to torch all the bad guys, but we're going to try and torch all the bad guys. And purification succeeded. Oh, you do have to kill all the bad guys. Okay. Hunter 1. Finished level 1. How many trophies are there? 13. Just finishing a level gives you a trophy, so if we finish level 12 today, we get our plat, which about half of all PS5 players have done. Okay. Let's try and get more used to this game. That thing just hit me three times, and there wasn't anything I could do about it. I want that. Thank you. I want that, too. Oh, God. Okay. This is just me trying to avoid taking damage, which I failed at. Okay. Hello? That thing hit me three times. This is really not good. And that killed me. This is, uh, not an easy game. I'm going to play like a coward, and I don't care. And that still hit me? What? Got hit three times. I don't get it. What am I, like, am I doing something wrong? And... There must be something in this game that I'm just missing, because... Look at how much it takes to kill one guy. I don't think I have enough gas in the whole game in order to get enough to kill them all. I don't know. Not to mention, they're still hurting me.
Oh god, I didn't reload. Oh god. Where's that health? There he, there it is. Okay. Uh, you can't tell, but behind my webcam, I'll just hide my webcam here real quick, there is a, a counter, and that counter is how many enemies there are left that I have to defeat, so... Okay, I'll remember that this stuff is here for later. I'm safe here. There we go. Oh god. Okay, I'm going for that health now because I know there's no way I'm going to survive. Hi, Ravish Unicorn. Don't drop into the green lava. Green lava's bad, much like real life. It'll insta-kill you. Okay. And I can't remember the stupid buttons. Everything is so backwards, so... Circle jumps. Square is the attack, and B is reload, which... I don't think that's exactly backwards, per se, but man... Those things hurt for so much. even hurting it? Yes. Okay, yes it is. Okay, well, I've gotten half the monsters. I got six, there's five left. And I've got most of my health still, that's very important. Let's just be very careful with all this. That doesn't reach, okay. This is safe. After this, I've got two monsters left and I've got eyes on both of them. And then I'm done with level two. And 
how do I even get in there? Wait, can I just walk in? No, I cannot. Nope. That's such a tease, man. Okay, down to just one. Do not fall in that. I am taking my time. I do not want to screw this up on the last one. There we go. I still don't know how to even get in there. Okay, that's level two. Okay. Uh, level three. That hit me. Got 11 enemies on this stage, too. Well, I guess 12 total. We're down to 10. Twice? Ah, uh, okay, so far, my impressions of this game are, it's not bad, but you really have to take your time. Down to six, so we're exactly halfway done. I think I could reach this from here. No, I could not. Wow. Okay, down to five. Wait, is that a new gun? Propane cannon. What does this do? Oh! Oh, that's not cool. It's a blind fall. And you can't scroll the screen, you can't do anything. And I thought that was the jump button. Oh my. I keep getting the buttons all wrong. Jump is circle, reload is square, and attack is X. There, right there, I just tried to attack with square. I'm glad. Oh, it's dead, okay. Well, I guess we'll find out later if it does more damage or not, Ravage, because I lost it when I died. Uh, up we go this way. Let's hope this does more damage. I can't pick that up because I'm right full. And I hit the wrong button again. Wow, that does more damage. Also goes through my tanks faster. I'll save that health for later. <gasps> I didn't reload! And I hate that it doesn't automatically reload too. 
This definitely takes some getting used to. This is how settlers of Australia should have dealt with the wildlife. I'm pretty sure this is exactly how they dealt with the wildlife. I keep hitting the wrong button. Oh God. Now we go for that tank. Did I get it already? I might've gotten it already. Nope, yeah, sure did. Ooh, why? Blind falls should not exist. This should not be a thing that exists. This is beyond unnecessary. That hit me from that far away? They're way over here and the bullet traveled all the way that. Okay, fine. And I didn't reload. Okay, I'll go ahead and say it. This game needs some better design. At the very least, I want to be able to remap my controls. And at worst, the game has some fatal flaws when it comes to these blind drops. Into green pools, that'll kill you in one shot. Nothing you can do about it. That is such a... It ate my double jump. I don't know if it ate it. I don't know if I just didn't press the button fast enough, but... Come on, man. Look at all those I just missed, and now I need to reload. And there's no auto reload either. That's another thing. Like, you think the game could at least do the decency of auto reloading? Uh, I really shouldn't complain. This, this isn't a bad game, but... There are so many design choices that I'm just like, this is way harder than it needs to be. Yeah, I'd better grab that. reload and I hit the wrong button I hit the reload button again that missed that missed but that missed I need more tanks. I have two enemies left, and odds are high that I won't be able to beat both of them. Oh, never mind. Okay, I have one shot left to kill whatever the last enemy is. Okay, I got lucky. That was literally my last shot. I don't know if that's what they want, Ravish Unicorn. Uh, people, when they make a game, have, especially if it's a spawn group or particularly one person, have a very exact way that they want the game to be. So having people offer suggestions is probably nice, but it's not what they're looking for when they make the game. So wait, we start off every single level with that base fire uh, f flamethrower?
That is... That's awful. You don't get to keep your upgrade from say, stage to stage. You have to pick up a new one every single stage, assuming there is one in the stage. That hit me. I was facing the wrong way. And now I gotta reload. Let me grab that health before I die. And that doesn't reach. Oh, wow. Yeah, quality of life improvements. I think that's the best way of putting it. Like, the game is there, and it's not a bad game, but there's just quite a few things that I'm like, the game would be so much more enjoyable if they just made these small changes to it. Quality of life. Okay, here's the better gun. I need health. I need health bad. Need to reload too, because I, I didn't see that till now. Oh, there's health over there. How do I even get over there though? How did I not kill it? What? And I don't even remember where the uh, better gun is. And then all these blind falls into radiation to just... Well, challenge is a good word, Ravish. Wrong button! I keep hitting square, I, I keep hitting the cross button to jump, cross, uh, the circle button is jump. I wasted an entire propane tank trying to fill this thing. my health. Thank you, Jeebus. Okay. Have to keep an eye on that jetpack, too, because that runs out. Luckily, that does replenish itself. I still have five enemies left, and I need to reload. Glad I saw that now. Well, I can't make that. Oh, no! Frickin' bonk! And now we start again. 
Oh good, it follows you. I'm going this way for a change. And some of these, I'm just like, how does that not hit it? Very confusing. Where's my health? Is my health. I don't remember where I get it. It's down here somewhere. Why? This game is hard enough without those pitfalls. Health is right there. How did I miss that? And I need to reload. And I died because it didn't automatically reload. And I was pressing the wrong button. Just let me remap, please. This is not an easy game, either that or it is, and I'm just playing it wrong. Oh God, freaking! That's the second time in a row where I died because it didn't automatically reload. Come on, we got this. We don't. Didn't reload. I keep saying that every single time as if like it's a bug. No, it's not a bug. The game is programmed to not automatically reload. You have to do it. And it didn't reload. So I'm just gonna keep dying needlessly, I guess. Got my health. The timing could not have been worse. Okay, three enemies left. I'm pretty sure they're all down here. I mean, in that case, I'm just going to reload right now so I don't have to worry about it. One left. Okay.
this game is not easy. Okay, we're almost done with the landing zone. I just continue to hit the wrong button. Did you see how far away I was and it killed me? Wait, did you see that? Rewatching the stream now. Wasn't it kill? I just. How far away was I? And it didn't reload. And I'm dead. And there's no health anywhere. I'm dead. Why are there no health pickups? Or are they here and I'm just somehow missing them? Why are there no healths? And I hit the wrong button. Why where are the healths and why can I not remap the buttons? And I turned the wrong way. That hit me. I mean, I can I even beat this guy? I haven't even gotten him down to half yet. What am I doing wrong? Where are the continues? Where are the health? Where's the health? I can't avoid this. It's impossible. I agree, he needs a bigger tell or a longer pause. I need to already be in midair in order to avoid stuff. Like right there. And my jetpack ran out. What, what am I supposed to do? Where is it? <sighs> Most people who played this game 
beat this boss, and I'm just wondering how. Is there something I am missing? Is there a health pickup somewhere? I just took two hits. Wait for my jetpack to recharge. Which was not that. I've already been hit three times, so... Four times. And dead. And he starts out with that. That time. And that time. That hit me from that far? That hit me from that far? I, I'm convinced that this game is intentionally... I am now convinced that this game is intentionally designed to be unfair. This is some kind of a troll game. I'm convinced. There's no way that somebody made this thinking that it would be something for people to actually sit back and enjoy. This is, this is some kind of a prank game that they got me to play. And my tank is out. How do those hit me? Oh yeah, that's that's the trick, huh, Ravage? Here, I'm going to not even pick up the uh, the cannon this time. I'm just going to try my flamethrower, see what happens. <laughs> that might actually work. That's stupid. Like, is that actually the strat that is intended, or is that just what people have come up with because they can't do it legit? Is that the intended strat? Because if so, that is the stupidest thing ever. And I mean, it's not consistent either because I'm still getting hit. <laughs> That'll take some getting used to.
There's no way this is intended. There's no way this is the intended way. That's how I'm going to do it. Just let me remap the buttons of all the things that I'm desiring in this game. That's probably the number one thing. A button remap and an auto reload would mean the difference between a frustrating game and a really good one. Like, seriously. I'm down to one hit already. Not even worth it to. I, 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 and I, I didn't even intentionally get killed that way. I was on my way to him, and he just killed me on my way. Oh man. Wow. Have I even gotten him down to half yet? Health pickups would have made this infinitely better. I would have done it legit if there was a single health drop, but there's not. Or if there is, I haven't found it anywhere on the map, and I've looked. Now that was me screwing up my timing. <sighs> okay! Let's do this! I wish that it would just auto reload. Thought it was on the other side.
And that was the easy area. Here are the first noticeable consequences. Almost all vegetation is burned out and the soil is no longer fertile. Mutants do not seem to stop coming, so you will need to take care of them. Oh, good lord. Look at how fast these things come at me. What am I supposed to do? It's literally impossible to... And we're dead. That hit me? My jetpack ran out. <sighs> yep, Australia. What's the point of up? What's the point in these upgraded weapons, huh? You still start out with the flamethrower every time. And these upgraded weapons don't save you, like. This game is okay. Okay. I have to calm down. This is actually a unfair game This is like the kind of game that the angry video game nerd would review this is unfair And I can't help but think that it is intentionally so it's not difficult like how are you supposed to avoid taking damage during moments like that? It's not just difficult. It is blatantly unfair Ah, hell. I died to hell. Ah! <laughs> you love to see it, you know? That's <laughs> just what I needed. If I can't kill them before they hit me, then what's the point of the upgraded weapon, huh? It's impossible to avoid getting hit. It's impossible! I could hit them off screen. I guess that's something. I need that health down there. Okay. So this weapon does have one advantage, unlimited range. I could kill things on the other side of the map. Okay. Four enemies left. Three. Two. 
And for what it's worth, the wind is just for aesthetics. It's not actually pushing me anywhere. Okay, I need to find wherever the last two are. They're down below, aren't they? Ah, no, now I gotta make that jump again. Oh, I hear it's above. Okay, we're done with that. Oh, I wish they would ravish. There's so many little things that I wish that they had improved with this game. Why am I not landing on that platform? Hello? That's not a platform you can land on? What, did they just forget to program in the collision? I think they did. I took three hits because I was trying to land on that thing and I couldn't. And I didn't reload. Didn't reload. Just another thing. Okay. Let's just push through the... Let's just push through this game so I never have to play it again. Good lord, it didn't reload. Again. Just almost died the exact same way. If the creator of this game happens to be watching, I don't think it's a bad game. It's just needlessly frustrating, that's all. Like, there are definitely a few things that you could do to improve it. An automatic reload would be the number one thing that I recommend. Also, health drops on that one boss. Come on, come on. You can't make this up. You, you can't make this up. I ran out mid, mid burst. Uh huh. How do I even get into there? Oh, like that, okay. Perfect timing. Also, no hell would be very nice as well. The, I, that's like the seventh time that I've died just because I fell into a pit that I couldn't see. Come on, we haven't had traps like that since the NES days. Come on. It's, it's like I'm playing an arcade machine. Very unfair one. Well, they can get off their path to hit me? And that hit me? He wasn't even looking in my direction. He didn't even touch me. None of his pixels touched me. This is just such an unfair game. Oh, 
Let's see if I can't get this health. Nope! No! Blind drops! Don't you love them? Oh, and, and of course, this right here. This platform that I'm on. Or rather, not on. Also, the game... The physics re-enable before you get control of your character if you exit the menu. Watch this. I just took damage because I couldn't move out of the way when I unpaused. Man, this game needs some polish. And I'm dead. Just like that. Oh, and no reload. I feel like it's literally impossible to get down there without taking damage of some kind. I'm actually losing my mind. I'm actually getting worse at this game. Whew. Okay. Take a breather. Uh. Okay, we can do this. It's only level seven. <sighs> it's only level seven, you know? Most any other game, you'd still be in the middle of the tutorial on level seven. And yep, cannot land on that platform. Okay, we're at three. That was close. I still have, th I, I have to find three. Oh, there's one. Two is below me. Find one more.
it just, it told me I had one left and then randomly it just counted down to zero. Okay. That hit me? This is some Nans, man. That hit me still. There was more down here. That does hit it. Okay, perfect. Barely made that. Man, I would have been so upset. Two left. Okay. We might literally beat this level on our first try. We had, it just went from two to zero. I, I killed that guy fully prepared to have to kill another one. That's the second time. What is going on? Like, I, I know you're just gonna have to take my word on it because the webcam is blocking it, but it went from two to zero. I killed that guy. It went from two to zero. Is this game like, is there a bug with this game? On top of being all kinds of hard? Got nine enemies left, apparently. Oh God, and it didn't reload. Okay. Here's what I'm gonna do. When I get down to like three or two left, I'm gonna uncover my webcam just so then we can see together if, it, if I'm not just imagining this. At least those things can't hurt me when they walk through me. Only their projectiles can. I'm safe here. Gotta reload, though. Okay. Incendiary grenade launcher. And that's not fair. It was off screen. How was I supposed to know that? And these don't kill in one hit either. Great. just let me please implement the option for me to remap buttons please I'm really good at timing though PlayStation version is cross by so you can play it through twice if you want I'd have to beat level 12 twice in order to get two plats had to reload
Okay, we're down to three. I'm gonna uncover my webcam. We're gonna see together if I'm crazy or not. I don't know about these jumps. Okay, never mind. Guess we're doing this again. Those jumps are so asinine. It shouldn't even be necessary in the game like this. The, the opponents are already so hard as it is. The upgrades are barely worth getting at all, and they don't carry over from level to level. You start out every single level with the exact same basic flamethrower, the exact same one every single time. So, what's the point? And they're also being Hellfire! On top of everything. That hit me too. Okay. Ah, uh, this is going to actually drive me insane. the guy's head okay my projectile went through his head and didn't hurt him that thing didn't even touch me and it hurt me man and I'm dead okay that's funny ravage I've never heard that before that's that's actually <laughs> that cheered me up a little thank you <laughs> that's actually funny Ugh, come on man this time. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? It's even sadder to remember that we were so close to one-shotting it the first time and then died to the stupid fire, too. That's the sad part. We're in a good position now, though, so... I wasted shots on that. Okay, four left. Three left. Here, this is where I'm going to do this thing again. Let's count it together, see what happens. Also need to reload. Two left. And I know they're both this way, so... 
Okay. Well, I guess it didn't do that this time. This time, definitely one left, and this is the last one. And it died. Perfect. In one shot. Okay, we're done with that. That level. Okay, now I guess we're on to the boss of Scorched Earth. We're gonna do that strat again. Wow, okay, it did not turn around once. When I when I wanted it to, but yeah, that's the strat again. I know for a fact it's just going to get way harder, and I'm at the end of the stream anyway, so I'm going to call it there. Okay. That was Arsonist Heaven, out now on all consoles. You guys saw the gameplay, so if it looks like the kind of game that you would like, go ahead and get it. If you're just a casual gamer, I honestly can't recommend it, though. This is way too hard, way too unfair, and needs some quality of life improvements. Just a simple button remapping would be nice, the ability for health drops at bosses, the ability to look around the screen a little bit, no blind drops, you know, just little things here and there that would make the game really, really nice. As it is right now, it's mostly just hard. <sighs> okay, yeah, Ravage Unicorn, I wish you luck, and thanks for being here. You were the only one who were chatting, but to all the lurkers, people who were here but not chatting, shout out to you, thanks for being here. I'll be back on Sunday to continue my playthrough of Love Esquire. Until then, on behalf of East Asia Soft, I have been Skull. Have yourselves a great day and a great weekend, and I will see you all next time, especially you, Ravage. Bye-bye.